The murder of a 19-year-old driver has inspired a new task force in Arlington. Now police are going undercover to target road rage. Andrea Lucia live tonight along I-20 to explain how they are doing this. Yeah, well, the memorial back here for Dylan Spade is a fresh reminder of how violent road rage can get. It was just a couple of miles from here that we saw police pulling over drivers, specifically targeting those they felt were showing signs of anger. Anger on the road can be easy to spot. You rolling the window down, giving a hand gesture uh, that's inappropriate, honking the horn. And while throwing up your middle finger is legal, police say it's usually connected to behavior that's not. We've had incidents where motors have been run off the freeway, uh, you know, to teach them a lesson. Today, unmarked police guards hit Arlington highways with one undercover officer behind the wheel and another on the lookout for aggressive driving. The pair were communicating details to squad cars ahead, waiting to make the actual traffic stop. In an hour and a half, they pulled over 24 drivers and wrote 25 citations. A couple violations of aggressive tailgating to where they were doing 80, 90 miles an hour and were three feet off the bumper from the car in front of them. The initiative was inspired by the murder of 19 year old Dylan Spade last week. Police believe the driver of this car became so angry he shot and killed the total stranger. But road rage is nothing new. Last year, officers blamed it for 34 crashes here in Arlington, several very close to where Spade died. This is a real danger, and, and it can really lead to serious consequences and injuries. Police plan to keep this up every day, focusing mainly on rush hour, when tempers are most likely to flare. Yeah, so what do you do if another driver gets upset with you on the road? Well, we ask police. They say slow down change lanes, try to create some distance, and if that doesn't work, call 911. But they said any attempt to engage with the other driver, even if you're just trying to figure out how you got them so angry or trying to apologize, they said any of that could actually make things worse. Reporting live in Arlington, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.